Is it real or is it a cake? That hot internet trend is now a new show bringing together the world's best bakers to see if they can fool you with cake. Take a look. This is a bowling ball and this is a cake. What? Oh, the show is insane. You are all here because you are all talented at making cakes that look like everyday objects. Oh, that is cake. And now that incredibly specific skill. Wow. wow can earn you thousands of dollars. Wow. <laughs> Exceptional. Wow is right. One of those contestants is with us this morning. Joining us now is April Jul Julian. April, so nice to meet you. This is wild. It's so wild. It's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so the other contestants do this for a living, April, but you bake as a hobby. How did you get into this? Yeah, no, I've always uh, liked getting my hands into things. I'm a maker, whether it's woodworking or baking. I've just always liked to be busy using my hands. And so I think since I was a child, I've been like in the kitchen baking things in my mom's kitchen. And then how did you end up on the show? Oh, so random. I got a, a DM in my Instagram <laughs> account that uh, I assumed instantly was a phishing scam and ignored because <laughs> it seemed way <laughs> too good to be true. Um, and the person just sort of persisted and kept trying to get in touch with me until I finally answered her her message. In the end, the three best bakers will compete for a grand prize of fifty thousand dollars. I really, really want to win that money. So I'm looking at there's some objects in front of you, and we're going to get to that in just a second because I know some of them are cake and some of them are real, which I'm going to have to mm -hmm. guess at in a little bit. But what is the key to making these cakes look so authentic and so real? So I think for hyperrealism, it's trying to make things imperfect. That's why I really enjoy this sort of art form. You know, like fruit, as you can tell, is bruised. Uh, there's little imperfections. And, you know, as long as you can sort of duplicate those imperfections, uh, that's what really fools the eye. What is your favorite cake that you've ever made when it comes to looking like an object? I have a couple. Um, my favorite probably is a raw chicken wing cake that I made just because <laughs> of the reaction. Like it's hideously awful to look at, <laughs> but it's so real that when people see me actually bite into it, oh they freak out. <laughs> and that's the best part of it. Yeah. <laughs> so do you do this to your family for birthdays and occasions? I do actually. I uh, sent over a, um, cob of corn once to my brother's house and his kids were so excited to eat it and they were actually upset that it was cake <laughs> <laughs> they were upset that, that that was cake said no child ever uh, okay so let's play a little bit of this is this cake or not so you've okay. got some objects in front of you you've got some bananas which to me look like real bananas and some limes that look real to me okay, okay. so are we gonna walk you're gonna walk me through this yeah, so we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. You let me know where is the cake. Okay. And I'll cut into it uh, and uh, reveal all. Okay, April, let's start. What do you want to start with, the bananas or the limes? Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, bananas. Okay, I'm going to take a look here. Uh, you at home guess as well. I'm going to go with the cake being, oh, man, cake being number two, the one in the middle. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. It's actually this one. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you hold that up for us so we can see? What kind of cake yeah. is that, by the way? It's um, vanilla cake with chocolate ganache inside. It looks so, so <laughs> real. And the other two, can you just slice into one of the middle one that I selected just so oh, I yeah. know? They're all cake. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Which is, oh, yeah. there you go. Awesome. Okay. So let's do the limes now. Okay. Okay. I'm one, staring two, three. at three. Okay, one, two, or three. Got it. Crew, what do you say? One, two, or three? So you say number one? Okay. One, two, one. Okay. The consensus here is one. I'm gonna go with the team here. So okay. can you please cut into number one? It oh, is live. Whoa. <laughs> okay, wait, before you do the next one, okay, crew, what's our next guess? You said three, which? Three. 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 Okay, right. consensus is three. Right. Let's do three. Three is. Oh, that looks cakey. It's to me. a. Live! It's a live! <laughs> Chelsea is the only one who said number two, and I didn't even listen to you because you were the solo voice. All right, well, let's so prove it. Let's see the cake here. Here we go. All right. Oh. Ta da! Wow. Chocolate fudge. What kind of cake is that one? <laughs> 
Is this straight up? It. <gasps> Some blemishes on there. This is what I mean about like make it as blemished and messed up as possible. That's right. Oh, that was so much fun. Hey, April, congratulations <laughs> on the show. I'm so excited for you. Please stay in touch. I want to let our viewers okay. know you can see April competing in Is It Cake, which is now streaming on Netflix. Thanks so much, April. Thanks. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.